So today's Tuesday, and you know what that means. That means we got new content, and that will be the show 23. Today we don't really have that much. All we really got was a new Diamond Duos pack, but I do have a bunch of packs to open, and we can go over the new content for Friday and how to prepare for it and stuff. So let's get into the video. As always, for content update videos, I go over the schedule. So a lot of it is outdated from Friday. But today is April 11th, new week content. Tuesday, new Diamond Duos pack, which is what we have today. Wednesday, which is tomorrow, we got a new week weekly wonders. If you don't remember what that is, they're just programs that you can just play a couple moments and you don't get any exclusive cards. It's kind of like daily moments, but it's like weekly now. So you just play a couple moments, do a couple missions, and you get three packs, stubs, and XP. On Friday, start earning double XP. I am really excited for that. And then we have Welcome to My Show Pack 2 with new Future Stars players and a new Diamond Duo pack. So we have a solid amount of content on Friday. Not as much as last Friday, but a solid amount. I'm really looking forward to that double XP so I can just grind the... Uh, I've already completed the XP War Path, obviously, but just get a ton of wheel spins. So that's gonna be really nice. So we are in the show shop now. One thing I wanna point out, if I'm not mistaken, I think they lowered the price of this choice pack. I'm pretty sure it used to be 50K, but now it's 40K. And the odds are one to four of a 90 plus. Um, so yeah, but we got Diamond Duos pack number six. We have two cards. One of them is not that good, and the other one is really good. So, the first one, which you're probably expecting to be the one that's not that good, is Joe Morgan. Now, Joe Morgan, he's one of the greatest second basemen of all time. Lefty bat, amazing speed and ceiling, diamond defense, he has great reaction. He's a really good second baseman, it's just his cards never have good power, and I don't know, they just never really translate, he doesn't ever have a good swing. The clutch is 107, so, you know, if, if if you have someone in scoring position, he'll hold up with the PCI, but he just never has good power, and I've never really been a fan of Joe Morgan, Morgan cards, but it's definitely a good option for second base. I just think there are better options right now. He's going for around, yeah, I, I would never buy him for like 55k, but if you're a Reds fan, go try him out. Like, it can't hurt. Now this 99 Josh Hader is a very good Diamond Duos card. Lefty reliever, 99 overall. He's a closing pitcher, he's not a relief pitcher. So those of you who have the Trevor Hoffman captain boost, this will not this card won't get it, but it's still an amazing card. I mean, two seam slider circle change. He has outlier on the two seam. He has maxed out hit and K per nine, 112 pitching clutch. So it's not gonna drop that much with a runner in scoring position. The break is 99. The control and the break are both pretty good. The only the circle change is a little underwhelming with the control and break, but at least he has the pitch. This is probably the best lefty reliever in the game. I don't think there's a debate really for any other lefty relievers that I'm thinking of, but yeah, I love this card. Around 70k though is really expensive for a reliever. So we have a ton of packs to open. We have 60 show packs, 9 bond packs, 2 diamond duo pack 1s, and 1 diamond duo pack 2. Hoping for probably 2 diamonds, maybe 3. I just want a 90 plus though. In the last video I got 6 diamonds out of all those team affinity packs, but none of them were a 90 plus, so let's try to get at least one of them. First pack, we get a diamond. Give me something good. And it's a purple. Okay, so so far, no blue diamonds. Are we going to get an expensive 89 plus? That's Corbin Burns. Is he? He's got to be one of the more expensive ones in the purples. Okay, 13k. So it's at least not a quick sell diamond. One thing that I just wanted to mention as I'm opening these packs is thank you guys for the support lately. No? Oh, okay. I got cut off by another diamond. Let me quick sell this uniform first, and we get another purple. Can it be? Another Trey Turner, because he's the most expensive, I think, out of the 89 to 85s. It's a Philly, it's Aaron Nola, really cheap, 85. He's like, what, 7K, 8K? He's, no, he's not that, he's like 5K. But what I was trying to say was, thank you guys for all the support lately. The 
past couple of videos, and obviously since the start of MLB The Show 23, I've I've been very happy with how I've been doing. I've been enjoying my, making these videos, which is my top priority, but I'm very happy with how my videos are doing. You guys have shown a lot of love, uh, especially recently, the past couple of videos. It seems like I've been getting a bunch of one of tens, if you don't know what that means. In YouTube, they rank your videos. Like, it's like the, it's like the main analytic is they rank your videos based off of like views in that time period since it's been released and there were like three videos in a row where they were all first of ten of the last 10 videos i posted which basically means they were really good videos so thank you guys for the support we're pulling a ton of golds okay there's a gold glove let me sell that i'm gonna quick sell Tariq scuball because i'm gonna forget he's there because he's a free agent but yeah obviously thank you guys for the support um i i've really enjoyed mlb the show 23 so far this year and i've also been really happy with what I've been putting out and how you guys have supported it. We get a camo Padres jersey. Is that? It's just quick sell. We get Jose Urania. Remember when he like had beef with Ronald Acuna Jr. for no reason? That was what, like 2019 or something like that? 20 a third diamond already. Give me something good. It's another purple. Three purples. I'm like the purple machine. I get so many purples. Obviously, I'll take these diamonds because they're from free packs. And we get Jazz Chisholm. I think this is the third time I've pulled Jazz Chisholm this year. Oh, he's actually like 10k. Okay, so he's well above quick sell value, so that's not horrible. But we're, all, we're already well above the odds for these packs. It was 60 show packs, I think, and the odds are 1 to 50. So we're already well above the diamond odds for these packs. I do have nine ball and packs. I think that could be the one where I get a diamond. Also, if you guys think I sound congested, it is allergy season. So that's probably why, uh, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Like, I take medicine, but there's nothing I can really do about it. So if you find my voice annoying right now, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. Uh, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta get my videos done because... You know, I love doing eight, 880 hat for bat. What the hell is that? We got 24 show packs left. We've already pulled three diamonds. So obviously if I don't pull any more diamonds, I would get it. But I mean, again, man, like <laughs> I just want 190 plus. I could really use a stub boost right now. Come on game. No, nope, nothing out of that. I'll take these jerseys that I can click sell. And the thing about these packs is like I've said, they're all free. So I haven't spent a single stub on them, and I'm getting all these duplicates because I have the collections done. Okay, can I sell these things? But yeah, I, I've gotten all the collections done, so I literally can just sell all of these cards and still make a lot of stubs. Sonny Gray, man, <laughs> is a Yankees fan. I just, I think the other day, I think it was, uh, was it Friday? A couple days ago, where he, I think he struck out like 13 or something like that. As a Yankees fan, man, he was so bad on the Yankees. You know, nothing personal. He's a, probably a nice dude. But he was just so bad on the Yankees. And to just see him doing well literally anywhere else is pretty annoying, but good for him. But, yeah, we have a couple show packs left. We have eight to go. Maybe sneak in one last diamond here. All right, two show packs left. And then we get into the big boy packs. We got the Ballins, the Diamond Duos. All right, nothing out of that. So overall, show packs were good. Nine ball and packs, one to fifteen. Just give me one diamond. Nothing out of that. The thing though about these packs is they're guaranteed golds, and a lot of them are double golds. There's a diamond. Give me something good. Come on, another purple. Bro. Again, I'm not complaining, but it's just getting annoying because I'm pulling so many diamonds, but none of them are expensive. Jose Ramirez, how is he actually? He's got to be like somewhat expensive okay he's probably around like 20k so that's a nice pull but 90 plus come on <laughs> i don't want to sound like a spoiled brat <laughs> because i pulled so many diamonds but it's just annoying because i want a 90 plus so badly okay we have three more ball and packs to go another gold drew rasmussen and another gold rafael devers one more and we do not okay so we pull one diamond there's an 84 
pull one diamond, basically in my favor with the odds. All right, we have three diamond duo packs. These packs suck, if, at least for me. Can I please just pull a diamond? I don't care if it's a quick sell diamond. Nope, silvers. Silvers again. How much are these guys? Jim Edmonds is insanely expensive. Last one. Dude, these packs are so bad. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Uh, if you guys are new here, you know, I'm Nick from Big Ends Gaming. Follow me on all my social medias. Uh, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, if you want to. But make sure you guys subscribe here so you don't miss any of my videos. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm your host, Nick from Big Ends Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.